Hey YouTube, this is Puck. We're back with the Android on the Windows 8.1 tablet project. And um, well, <laughs> in fact, I created a very nice uh, pair book of my <laughs> little tablet running Windows 8.1. Um, I had to restore it back because I was not really happy about the installer. It was so demanding. It took away the complete partitions, everything, you know, no more the thing, yeah. If we wanted to run Android, then we had to reboot um, into, with the stick, you know, to get Android going. Uh, Android will in no way work on this tablet without having and using something like this. This is a Wi-Fi USB stick. So, in fact, you should really ask yourself if you want to do this, you know. But I know many people out there that you know want to do this and they just want to get Android on their device. I must tell you for now that um, it's possible to run Android on this baby and uh, I'm creating a bootable USB stick at this moment, also making a video about it, um, how to do it. So that will be probably under this video, <laughs> the one before this video. But um, what we're gonna do, because now in fact the tablet is back to kind of original, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply uh, insert a 16 gigabyte micro SD card into this baby, and we're gonna install Android on that. Okay, so Android will not touch anything of this windows install no recovery file i wanted to touch but still i wanted to run on this device so let's see if my theory is right and uh, well uh, we're gonna now test it because i see that my disk is done so let's jump in and see how to do it um, so we created the usb bootable stick uh, and we did that with Rufus as you could see in my previous video it was an image file and um, well let's see if the stick will boot up on this machine and if we will see the USB stick in the boot while holding F10 uh, to go into the boot selector they get crazy okay here you can see it found the USB stick you see that Windows Boot Manager and Lexa. So we just go for the Lexa and we're gonna go for installation. Okay. Okay, the booting went really, really fast. So what did we do? We did install uh, a little SD card in here, 32 gigabyte and in fact, that card should also be in here. So let's take a look at that. We see NTFS. We see one unknown. So let's go to create modify partitions. And then I think it's the second drive there. Oh, wait a minute, SDA. I think it's SDA peeps, the one here on top, see that, SDA. And that is exactly what you should not do, you should not think, you should know for sure which one is the SD card, you see, because I was thinking too much, and because of all that thinking, I wiped the E5 drive of the Windows 8, so I killed my whole Windows 8 installation there. Huh. I could try to you know repair with a repair disk but for now it's gone I, I i formatted something and you know i failed but let's continue with this project let's at least run android on this thing so what really happened is that i deleted one of my windows partitions and now in no way that windows will work anymore okay so let's at least uh run android we just installed it and there it's booting up on the Acer W810 
and in fact this is uh, yeah a not so fantastic install because um, I killed <laughs> I killed my Windows 8.1 but uh, in fact what we did now we did install we did do what we wanted to do in this video and that is we did install Android to the 16 gigabyte uh, micro SD card um, in the machine so in fact Android is installed I will just do a repair or a reinstall of Windows 8 maybe I can still repair the partition I'm not sure but uh, I think it's gonna be a reinstall and you know that will happen without touching the SD card so you know the next time when Windows is installed uh, we will take the Android uh, bootable and simply boot from it and boot straight into the Android that is installed on the 16 gigabyte drive but then again you must not forget that to get stuff going you will for instance need a USB stick okay a USB stick that connects to Wi-Fi you will need a thing like that because if you don't have that you won't have no Wi-Fi and this what you're seeing is a real-time booter it's taking a little bit long uh, but you will finally uh, get there and now we can get into you know the screen the home screen etc and we have Wi-Fi here but that is thanks to the Wi-Fi stick the RT2500 so this is in fact uh, yeah uh, not so uh, good install because yeah well there's nothing that we can do about it because at my at the Microsoft uh, open uh, open software site we can also get these android versions and you know it's also written up there that you need a usb wi-fi stick to get on the internet otherwise you won't be able you know to install or to get on the internet uh, there will be no sound you know so sound is not working um yeah so all these little things yeah you will have android running on it but is it any good well I don't think so for now it's it's totally not good you can better buy a cheap Android phone many out there if you really want Android you know just get the Android device uh, you know so you have several devices that you can do your stuff on and testing but uh, for now this is not ready yet uh, the drivers are not there maybe in Android 6 marshmallow things might get better but for now yeah it's just playing a bit with Android your battery life is also not guaranteed uh, running this version of Android it will drain your battery really fast so you need a full battery if you want to play a little bit with Android and do some testing but at the end you will go back and uh, yeah fix it back with Windows 8.1 so yeah for those that uh, need to fix that tablet back by the way those that bricked it because of you know trying this what i'm doing here you guys go to microsoft and get uh, windows 8.1 enterprise edition you can download it free with your account and then i'm just gonna reinstall windows on this thing i made such a nice pair tablet i'm so bloody pissed that i installed this stupid android that is not even seeing the wi-fi i made one crippled tablet of my fantastic acer tablet you know now i must turn it around because the thing is shy it don't wants to be you know so i'm gonna copy these files and um, then i'm gonna create a bootable usb stick with power iso and then i'm gonna you know reinstall windows on it but we have the android version now on it on the stick so um yeah in fact what i should do is get back after i installed windows and then we will have to see how to deal with that android if we can still boot it up but then again who wants android on a tablet that does not have no sound no wi-fi i mean like then you're better off with windows 8 so i'm gonna uh, make a very beautiful windows 8 really i found some fantastic tools to uh to make it kind of a pair tablet you know so this thing will also get the Acer will be replaced for a nice I think a black pair one that stands like this maybe two pairs you know one like this and one 
line so that when you turn the tablet you know if you hold it straight you have the pair and when you put it down you also have another pair you know that comes anyway we will see when we get there peeps thanks for watching uh, I, I I think this project kind of failed even though we have Android running on this uh, on this tablet I'm just kind of pissed off that I killed my windows my good working windows 8.1 I really love that thing because it was running so fine. It was the Enterprise Edition, you know, the free version of Windows, the one that you can download from, from Microsoft, that one I had on here. So, you know, I find that one also not running too heavy. It's kind of light, you know, and I can remove all the apps out of it. I'm kind of sad that I killed this machine, but then again, c'est la vie. I, I learned from it and at least we have a good running Android on the SD card and that was what this video was about um, you know keeping the windows but then installing the Android on the 16 gigabyte drive and then find a boot stick that we can boot from that Android one that will search for Android that is installed somewhere on one of the drives and then pick it up and you know just go from there so that was it peeps uh, if you think this video was kind of interesting this weekend project I don't find it really you know uh, satisfying yet not at all especially because my windows is dead <laughs> so uh, peeps uh, yeah if you think this project was fun like subscribe see you in my next video bye